What's up guys? In the intro video, we briefly spoke about it that we were going to be building an ADU. An ADU is an additional dwelling unit. This is all dependent on different cities. Different cities have different mandates. But if you have a main house and you have sufficient space in the backyard or in the plot of land, California encourages people and this allows certain people to create an ADU on their land. You can invest into creating an ADU on your land, be it attached, just basically a separate additional dwelling unit, like say a one bedroom, one bath, or two bedroom, two bath. It depends on the size of your main home and the size of your, your land. Long story short, uh, California finally allowed us to develop an ADU on our property I think earlier last year or sometime last year so we looked into it and we started putting pen to paper seeing if it would make sense for us and five people under one roof this is I think like kind of like an older structure too an older building not everything is up to date electricity uh, shuts off when too many things are going on say we use the microwave air fryer air fryer it'll shut off the power we have to update so many different things in this household we just gotta find a way to make this living situation <laughs> as comfortable as possible. Especially because we have a little growing boy. So he's gonna need a lot of crawl space. He's gonna need crawl space in general where he doesn't have any crawl space right now. And um, if he does, there's kind of stuff everywhere like boxes. Since it is kind of old, there's bugs and stuff on the floor that Donna randomly finds. And I'm afraid that he might get that in his mouth. Yeah, we get a lot of spiders like about this big or so crawling around. I never want to complain. No, of course not. You know, we know not everybody has, I mean, this might be great for some people to have because also having grandparents in your immediate vicinity just an extra hand is such a blessing for parents especially first-time parents it's just uh we're just explaining our situation just explaining the situation and trying to see uh what are the next steps moving forward because obviously this is not a long-term plan and uh we would have moved into an ideal like even just an apartment space where we could kind of upbring him for the first few years and then move on from there it's difficult in this household as well being creators either in fitness food lifestyle streaming streaming, streaming. everything all these other like ambitions that we we had before i had to put on hiatus my own dancing career obviously was put on a massive hold just trying to start up magic milk and now planning for an adu home situation it definitely makes me not be able to travel and do work uh, outside of the country with covid going on just the quarantine scenario itself is like 14 days i would, what would usually do is travel Travel, work for a week or two, come back. But now it's travel, stay in a hotel for two weeks, quarantine, and then do whatever work. That's already too much time away from the family. So we had to put pause on that. There's lots of compromises going on in 2021, 2022. This is going to be episode one of Project Home. I guess we're just going to catch you guys up to speed on the process and keep everybody up to date on uh, our miniature dream situation scenario. It'll be good for us three, but so far, the longest part of the process that we mentioned before was just getting everything approved. Coming up with the idea, walk through it with an architect, put right. all of our ideas onto paper. We definitely want to keep as many things as we can at home. Our, our gym situation, we want to have an in-home gym. Our cooking situation, we want to be able to create cooking content. Uh, the living room situation, very much how I think like luxury apartments or inclusive apartments are kind of designed where they have the living and kitchen space all in one all while keeping our scenario hopefully we can have two room two baths complying with the city's uh it's a standards, lot standards rules yeah there's a lot to it but that was the first step all of it is a waiting game um you have to wait for the architect to finish designing you have to wait for the city to approve or make adjustments when they make no adjustments they send it back and you send it back to your architect architect reviews and revi uh, revises the plans and then resends and resubmits and then it has to do another waiting game for them to check out the plans again and then reapprove you and after that next stage which would be structural and then you got to get structural designed and then cleared as well so there's a whole nother waiting game for that so these are months and months and months of of, of waiting before you can actually hit ground so we're contemplating it to be march first it set back for another week because the office had COVID. I feel like structural shouldn't be too too long. Too, too long but so we're having FOMO right now because our neighbors. Yeah, if you guys remember hearing them smashing hammers and drills and all that stuff. They're building right next to us. 
and we saw their destruction, like the was it demolition, planning, excavating, and then laying foundation, and now they're erecting the buildings, the walls, the ceilings. It's, they're about to start the roof right now. It's crazy. So how fast it's going? It was crazy just watching that whole process go down. It's like, oh shoot, this is basically what we're gonna have to go through. I, I feel like if we are on track and on time, we might finish before them. They're doing the whole damn thing. They destroyed everything from like their front house to their back house. Like they had this whole crazy situation going on. I think it's around 10,000 square feet of land that they had to excavate and then it was, it was nuts to see that whole process. But now they've, they've already erected their two structures. It's crazy to watch that happen and uh, it makes us have FOMO like crazy. Yeah, we see it every single day. We like go in the backyard. Ours is only 800 square feet so it shouldn't take that long. Mm -hmm. We're just really excited to like once we start we get to pick out all these things and personalize it to how we like it to be. We'll have a lot more exciting things to kind of like show and share. It's gonna be fun. So that's gonna be a journey of its own. Um, we have a couple of Pinterest ideas on what we'd like the home to kind of look like. We both kind of have similar taste and things, so. Yeah, we're really monochromatic. We like to keep things pretty simple. Black is always a good choice, except for countertops, because you'll lose all the shit that you have, like your phones, your keys, your wallets, and everything else that's black. Our sense and style is relatively similar, so uh, we can't put all of our ambition and ideas into it. It would be a waste, because we also don't think we'll live in here more than five years. If we want to give him a sibling, the space alone probably is not sufficient. In the future, this idea of having the home built in the back is to increase the value of the property. As a, as a homeowners, if you can ever put another building on your property, it just increases the, the overall value of the land itself so that when you flip the property or, or rent it out even, become a way of passive income if you know all your cards line up and you do a good job. So, But that's like down the road. So all of our actual ambition and dream will be in a real home. It'll be in a permanent home in the future. But this will be a nice kind of mini dream. That's it for episode one of this. This is more, I think, just for a documenting purpose, and so I guess you can follow along in the future. We didn't really get to, I don't even remember the first home that I was in before I moved into my family home. Well, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. This would be cool to know where you came from. It's kind of nice to capture these memories because, as you said, I only have memories, but I saw it on like a video and be like, wow, that's cool. Hi, huh, Bubba. Can you say bye to the camera? Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching this first episode. We'll update you guys when we hear some good news or bad news or any news. Our next episode will probably be, hopefully, to let you know that we can start breaking ground. Kind of share it with you guys our vision board of what we want the home to look like. Yeah, we'll go from dream to reality and see how much of it actually lines up. Yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day and or evening, wherever you guys are in the world. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.